parasitic plants. It coils around the stem and branches as yellow tubular structure. You will be surprised to know that it does not contain chlorophyll. So it takes ready-made food from the plant on which it is climbing. The plant on which it climbs, it is known as host. Now the second type is saprotrophic plant. When you go to a vegetable shop, you might have seen packets of mushrooms sold in it. Besides that, sometimes you may also have seen fluffy umbrella-like patches growing on the soil during especially in rainy season. But do you know how these organisms get nutrition? Students, these organisms are known as fungi and they get their nutrition from dead and decaying matter. They secrete digestive juices and convert into a solution. This mode of nutrition in which an organism take nutrients in solution from the dead and decaying matter is called saprophytic nutrition. And the organisms which use this kind of nutrition are called saprotrophs. Thus we can say that fungi are saprotrophs. Now the third is symbiotic plants or symbiotic relationship. The relationship between the two dissimilar organisms in which both are living together and share shelter and nutrients to each other is called symbiotic relationship. The organisms which are involved in this kind of nutrients in this kind of relationship is known as symbiote. Example of symbiotic relationship is a lichen. Lichen is the good example of symbiotic relationship. It is an association between algae and fungi. In this kind of relationship, algae provide food to the fungi and fungi provide protection, absorbed water and minerals to algae. Now the last category is insectivorous plants. There are few plants which can trap insects and digest them and get their nutrition. For example, pitcher plant. Actually, these plants can synthesize their own food by photosynthesis, but they grow in nitrogen deficient soil. 